You might have work tomorrow morning, but for the next six minutes, you're gonna get some mixed martial arts action from the University of MMA coming to you from Club Nokia at LA Live. I'm Rich Slayton, joined by Larry Landless to walk you through this 170 pound fight between the debuting Scorpio Sky and the owner of the fastest knockout in you of MMA history, Jose Hovell. <laughs> Jose on his way into the cage right now owner of that beautiful five second knockout with that big right hand against Ian the Korean Park. Yeah, Jose heavy handed Hovell is, should be his nickname. He was very heavy handed. Good guy, you know, he, he, I remember that fight quite well. There was a lot of people from the uh, Korean's corner that weren't too happy <laughs> after that last uh, punch he threw. You generally aren't after a friend of yours gets knocked out and hopefully Jose Hovell, in terms of his wishes, puts that to the test again tonight. The motto of Dream Killer Fight Team, be the villain, and Jose loves to embrace that role. The 32-year-old with one win and two losses, looking to get in the win column again tonight against Scorpio Sky. And his opponent making his way to the cage, Scorpio Sky! Pro wrestling may be fake, but you can't fool anyone inside the cage. Scorpio Sky, a pro wrestler since 2002 with appearances in TNA and WWE, most recently with Championship Wrestling in Hollywood, California, taking a hiatus from pro wrestling right now to focus on mixed martial arts. And you know, the funny thing is, they didn't ask for an easy fight. They wanted to jump into the deep water right away. They asked for a tough fight. They asked for a fight that was going to give them a challenge. And they, I think they found it. Definitely found a challenge in the heavy-handed Jose Hovell. The coaches did not want an easy match, as you said. They've been trying to find an opponent now for a couple of years. But those couple of years might have given Scorpio the time he needed to really get to the highest level of mixed martial arts. Yeah, you know, he's with the right coaches. I mean, these guys over at uh, Leron. I've known Laurent for a while. He's a professional fighter himself, and Sal MMA, Sal Ma, excuse me. Um, you know they know what to do, and they they've cornered people before. They've been around fights. They've been competitors themselves. I'm sure he sparred around with Laurent quite a few times. Laurent's no joke. Well, let's head inside the cage to start things off with Salvador Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our next fight of the evening is brought to you by Rockaholic, the number one hangover remedy. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the 170-pound division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai practitioner. He steps into the cage with a record of one win and two losses. He stands at five feet, nine inches tall, and weighed in at 170 pounds, representing Dream Killer Fight Team from Los Angeles, California, Jose Red Devil Jove! And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter making his debut. He stands at five <coughs> feet, nine inches tall, and weighed in officially at 167.8 pounds. Fighting with the Guild from Fontana, California, Scorpio Sky! Man in charge of the action, Frank Trigg. Let's get things started in this welterweight contest <coughs> between Jose Hovell in the blue corner, Scorpio Sky in the red corner, Frank Trigg controlling these two fighters. It's the U of MMA, it starts here. Scorpio fainting early. Jose loading up that big right hand. He talked about wanting to use it more. First blood drawn though by Sky. Well, gotta take that side mount. He's blocking it with that knee up uh, so Scorpio can't step over. And wow, wow, wow. Nope, he got that mount. He got that mount. We're in a tough spot here. Very nearly reversed by Jose Hovell, but Scorpio Sky 
maybe that pro wrestling experience can pay off into some real wrestling. Well, he's got side mount right now. He's uh, he, he missed that mount. He's on side mount, which is uh, a big step over to get the full mount. So Zay's letting his guard down. He's not blocking it with that knee like he was earlier. So far, Scorpio looking very comfortable in his debut yeah, in this grappling exchange. He actually needs to stretch him out a little, you know, if he's gonna cook this position because he's, he's gonna get rolled. Uh, if he hooks, if uh, Jose hooks an ankle, oh, he went to his stomach. Oh, he let go of the legs and uh, I was just looking to control him around the waist. Scorpio on the back of Jose Hovell. Jose trying to get his hand on those hands, but Scorpio, nice little suplex there, putting Jose on his back. Yeah, that was a little, you know, I want to call it a suplex. Just kind of <laughs> toss it to the side a little. You no, get no momentum off that. I mean, a suplex, you want to get some height and momentum. Um, Jose trying to replace guard here, succeeds in getting the half guard. Yeah, he needs to uh, keep pushing his hips away. P use his right hand against the knee and push down and slide that other leg in position. Oh, he's looking at a big, he did, wow. He's just been looking for that big switch all night. Too little, too soon. Wow! Oh, wow! All over the arm. He that broke is it. it. Did he break That's it? What I'm talking about y'all. I'm talking about. Scorpio Sky's manager Christian Cole giving Larry and I some big swipes to the back. Wow! Wow! That is it. What a nasty arm bar. You that heard was quick. We heard the corner of Scorpio Sky calling for that arm bar as soon as he was in the guard. And he wasted no time slapping that thing on and really torquing it across that elbow. Wow, wow, here it comes. And it's up, hips are up, and no, his arm was bent, but he still stopped it. Yeah, his arm was in a V position. It wasn't a straight arm bar, but he pushed it up from the elbow. Wait a minute, are we stopping this or is Fight's over, buddy. Yeah, exactly, fight's over. A little bit of confusion. Let's see that arm bar one more time. You know, it might have just been that the shoulder was turning and that the arm wasn't actually being no, torqued. It's, it's kind of like the Russia two-on-one when you get it from standing position. You push your hips up and it pops. It, you're working on that elbow right there. And look, no, if you look it, look, it looks like it was the sh it was rotated at the shoulder, not that the elbow was popped out. It looked like he has has well, extremely... this position sucks. <laughs> this is coming up and this is coming down. It seems like it That's... sucks. Some protestation from the corner of Jose Hovell, uh, but it, still it, a fantastic performance by Scorpio stop. Sky. Stops to stop. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. So yeah, that. That might not be a torque on the elbow. That might have been some turn on the shoulder, but it is the referee's discretion to make that decision. <clears throat> well, the corner's upset. The corner could be pissed off all they want. The fighter's kind of accepted it. He kind of realized that he tapped. I think he verbally tapped. So I think now that the discretion is whether or not time ran out. So how much time was left on the clock? Do you happen to know? Did not have the time there. Getting the time from the referee right now, at one minute and 57 seconds, the referee calls an end to this fight. Then there was three seconds left, match is over. Match is over. Yeah, they're they're upset over there, but I, I, I don't think they have a ground, a leg to stand on. What, what's, what's the reason for them being upset? His kid tapped. Did we get a tap? I didn't, I'm not sure if we actually did get a tap. No, it wasn't a tap. Uh, I'm, I'm being informed by one of the other referees that he just stopped it. But did he cry out in pain? He seems, he seems to be accepting the fact that he was a, uh, uh, that that he's he's done. He's accepting it. Well, Jose is a class act, not one to make a stink inside the cage. Let's hear this official decision. Send it inside the cage to Salvador Ariano. The third man in the ring, Frank Trigg, brings a fight to halt. One minute, 57 seconds into the first round. Your winner by technical knockout due to an arm bar. Out of the red corner, Scorpio Sky! Scorpio Sky, how are you feeling right now? It sounds to me 
like you guys didn't like that decision. And what are you going to do about that? The only thing Scorpio Sky is going to do is celebrate all the way home. Because it doesn't matter if you like that decision. I came to win, and that's exactly what I just did. Does that mean that in the future we can expect you to come back to the U of MMA and do it again? <laughs> Do you want to see me back? What? What? Do they want to see me back? Yes! 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 Scorpio Sky, come talk to me, sir. Before we have the celebration dance, would you like to thank all of your friends and family who came here to support you? Honestly, I want to thank God, first of all. I was supposed to fight back in January, but my mother passed away. So I want to thank, I want to thank her for all of her guidance over the years. I want to dedicate this fight to her and to anyone that has ever lost anyone to cancer. Anybody fighting it right now, I want to ask you to keep fighting. Don't give up. Jose is a hell of a competitor. He'll bounce back. Thank you, Jose. Thank you for leaving it all in the cage. Give it up for him, Scorpio Sky. Your winner in the first round by technical submission, Scorpio Sky. Yeah, I think the referee, um, I, and, and I thought he tapped. I thought he tapped, but um, and or cried out in pain. Where if you cry out in pain and you're in a submission hold, that's a stoppage. Legally, technically, that's a stoppage, even on the pro level. Um, <clears throat>